Guys, we have the beta version of YouTube's test and compare AB thumbnail tester, and it is not what we expected at all. We've been doing tests, researching the release date, and we're going to give you all the juicy details. There are a few things that were not what we expected, but the biggest thing by far is that it's not actually measured on click-through rate. You would think that the thumbnail AB tester would be entirely based on CTR, but it's not. They came up with a new metric that they're calling watch time share, it is a combination of the CTR and the average view duration. So it's not to be confused with watch time percentage because it's not the same thing. Basically, they are looking at both thumbnails and they're asking which one is getting more total watch time. So usually that is going to be the thumbnail with the highest click through rate. Here at Channel Makers, we have literally talked for hours trying to figure out if we actually think this is the best way for YouTube to be measuring this. And I think yes is the answer because watch time is the key. Of course, CTR is really awesome to know, but at the end of the day, for a channel to get monetized on YouTube, you need subscribers and watch time. Now, a lot of people are complaining about this. They want to know the CTR. And I understand that more information would absolutely be nice. But I have also heard people say that that is not the most important metric. And I think that's wrong. I think it absolutely is the most important metric. Although having more information would be nice. It is a little frustrating that we don't get to know all of the metrics, including the watch time share. I feel like YouTube is trying to baby us as creators a little bit, which I understand they want to incentivize us to do the right types of videos and the right types of thumbnails. But at the end of the day, I personally think it should be left up to creators. And I think YouTube could leave it up to us as creators by just giving us that extra data that I know that they're collecting. Yeah, and I see why they did it. I mean, this whole entire feature of YouTube could be disastrous if it was completely based on click through rate, because then people are having super clickbaity thumbnails. I mean, it could go up in flames. But yeah, why not have a little bit more information? That's okay. We're really happy with it. We are not complaining. There was something else that surprised us quite a bit about the AB tester, and that is it's actually an ABC tester. They give us three options. And we have been having so much fun with the flexibility of testing three different thumbnails against each other because we all expected it to just be an A-B test. And like Julia said, we've been running tons of tests since receiving access to the beta, like being able to test face versus faceless or light versus dark or different expressions. It's been so interesting to see what's performing better. We're doing one more secret test on like our whole channel. It's a little wild. We might get kicked out of the whole beta testing program for doing this. In fact, Cody, our editor, messaged me last night. He's like, what's going on with the AB testers? <laughs> what are we doing? We're gonna get to it. We're gonna show you guys another video once we get the results in, which will take a couple weeks, but I'm really curious. I'm convinced that nobody else is doing this. YouTube themselves may have ran this test before launching. They probably did but I'm convinced that no other like YouTube strategy channels are trying this. I'm really excited. We are also running a test on this video with multiple thumbnails that we're gonna be publishing the results of in our community here once the test is over. So stick around for that. And like Julia said, every other test that we're running, we're working on a huge video to let you know all of our findings so far with the beta version. And let us know in the comments which version of this thumbnail you got because it's probably different than the other people. Okay, the big question everybody is asking all the time and it's understandable because it's awesome is when is it getting here? Now, we're not gonna tell you, we don't know, we don't know, but that's, we can do better. We have done so much research because I know you came to this video for more than just, oh, you don't know, they haven't told us yet. So in June, 2023, just a very few select people had access to the beta tester. In July, they rolled it out to 2000 creators, which sounds like a lot, but just imagine how many people are on YouTube. That's such a small amount. And then at Vid Summit, Renee Ritchie, the YouTube liaison said that as of September, they'd rolled it out to 10,000 people and that they were planning on rolling out to at least 50,000 in the fall. So in the late fall, around November, it might've even been December-ish, Renee had another video where he mentioned that the 50,000 was actually going to happen a few weeks later. And that actually adds up because we got the beta version early December. And so we think we were in that 50,000 group. So that brings us to now, early 2024, which was the original timeline to have it rolled out to all creators. Now, I think that they're probably running a little behind at this point, but I'm still really optimistic that all of you should be getting it really soon because it doesn't seem like they're that far behind. From October to when they were rolling out to 50,000, it only went to December. So I just feel like it's gotta be super close. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. It's easy for us to say that, oh, whatever, it's not here yet because we have it. but. Honestly, they're doing so much work to make sure this tool works well, and I really appreciate that. It's so much better than if they just released it prematurely and have all these issues with it and have to roll back. I'm so glad that they're taking the time to be really careful and make sure this tool works well because it could be detrimental if it didn't. So let's just appreciate them for that. 
hundred percent. And one other thing that I'd say is that while you're waiting for it to come out, start creating additional thumbnails, run thumbnail tests on your own with people that you know, on your friends, on your family. That's actually going to prepare you for when this comes out because creating multiple thumbnails is a lot of work. That was one thing that I just didn't anticipate for some reason when we got access to the beta is that that's a ton more work to create all these extra versions of thumbnails. If you're not willing to put in that work, then it's going to be useless anyway. Yeah, not only for the habit, but also for your old videos. Yeah. So imagine that you got it tomorrow, that they release it tomorrow, then you might have 50 old videos on your channel where you could immediately start running A-B tests on all of those old videos if you have the thumbnails ready to go. Yes, they aren't gonna get as much of a boost as they initially did when you first published, but it's still really helpful as those videos are still getting some views. So get as many ready for your old videos as you can. And yes, get in the habit of making extra versions for each new thumbnail that you create. Coincidentally, the first video that we ever got to run this ABC tester on was a video we made about thumbnails where we tested something because I had a theory and I wanted to make sure that it was solid. Turns out it was pretty solid. Nathan had to jump in a river due to it. <laughs> so go check out that video while you wait to see the rest of the results for our tests. When we get that one done, we will also put it here for you to watch next. And we're gonna keep you posted on everything we know, even if it's just in a short or a community post, we've got you.